what actually is fingerboarding? You've probably seen tech decks like this in a store, but there's actually a big difference between a tech deck and an actual fingerboard. Fingerboarding in general really started to take off in the early 2000s when skateboarding became more popular. The basic idea behind fingerboarding is you're trying to do tricks without actually lifting the board up and using your fingers to pop the board. This sounds pretty easy to do, but it can actually take years for people to get really good at it. Over the past decade, fingerboard parts have become much higher quality, but also much more expensive, leaving some people to not even want to get into the hobby. With that cost and how long it takes to learn, why would somebody even want to get into fingerboarding? For a lot of people, fingerboarding is super relaxing and it gives you the same hype when you land a new trick as actual skateboarding does. Because everybody wants to be that one guy who can show up to a party with a tech deck and kickflip first try. And that answers the question of 